The Kent State baseball team returned home Thursday night, and as the bus pulled in here to Dick Stadium, they were greeted by fans and family and friends, all showing their support for their phenomenal run through the World Series. It's just, it's been huge. It's the biggest thing in baseball in the Midwest in my life. So it's, it's just been fantastic. We feel invested because we know personally a player on the team. And then I'm a graduate from Kent State. Both of my parents and my sister are all from Kent State. So a lot of flashes cried. It was just nice to have them out there and, you know, representing Kent State University, putting us on the map. We felt like we could compete with any team in the country, uh, and I think we proved that and that we belong up there. So hopefully uh, it's something to build off of and come back next year and be successful again. We, we obviously feel well satisfied with how we did. Uh, we, we, we would have liked to play better today and, and be able to scratch out a couple more hits, but just wasn't in the cards for us. The two-time defending national champion, they're the ones that knocked us out, so there's no shame in that. And the, the national pitcher of the year from last year beat us. But they, sure, it's disappointing to lose, but to be one of the, the last five teams standing out of 297 when no one gave us an opportunity to do that, uh, it says a lot about our players and, and just what we've been able to do as a program. Just just really proud. Although the team came up a little bit short, it was the first time in program history that the team made it that far, and it's something they soon won't forget. In Kent, Will Uick, STO.